we've just completed a 12-day, 1,500-plus mile sail from Grenada straight to the United States. After an awesome sleep-filled night at anchor, we're off again up the Florida ICW. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. We've been sailing the world Just and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us on our next adventure. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. It was time to clean Calypso up while we head north. Our first stop, to watch a rocket launch at Cape Canaveral. Hey, I got a confession. Do you think we'll see a rocket launch? I think we'll see a rocket launch. Weather looks a little bit iffy. Does it? But, um, well, it's all cloudy and there's some storms, so I don't know, we'll see. Well, but I think they would have called it by now. No, no, it'll go last second. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. They're gonna try to get it off the ground. Weather doesn't look good for tomorrow, so they're going to try, but we have an awesome spot right here, right out Port Canaveral, Cape Canaveral. You can hear uh, F-15s patrolling. Oh, actually, I see them up there. I don't know if you can see them. The rocket is over there, and there's white smoke coming out of it. I imagine that's fuel or something. Hopefully, we see a launch today. What do you think, Rach? Would you like to see a rocket launch? Yeah! Yeah. I Probably. That's right, and this is why this time there's two people on it. One of them's a marine, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're flying the marine colors today. Signify that we got a marine going up in space, along with our other American and Canadian. We got a one Canadian and a half Canadian on board. On board. Who's the half Canadian? Me. Yeah. Lunch. Woo! So we have like 13 minutes to launch. Enough time to eat lunch. Ground pumps continuing to put the propellant in to first and second stages. Next significant issue call off that we're going to hear from would be inside the T minus 10 minutes when uh, they talk to the crew. We'll listen for that. But at the moment, everything continuing to look good at T minus 12 minutes and 20 seconds. Now everything's progressing down with the count. Hey, final started. You ready, Reese? Three and a half minutes to launch. Three and a half minutes. And the strong back is now reclining away from the Falcon. We have like front row seats. Yeah, it's beautiful. Here it goes. This anchorage just off Kennedy Space Center is so sweet for viewing a launch. Get it. Did you go through the cloud breeze? We're going out in space, Dad. Yeah. There's two dudes on that, Reese. Chris? The Marines on there. A spiral of the smoke. What do you think of that rocket launch, Reese? Good. Was that awesome? Could you imagine being on that? Yeah. What well, do you think you'd want to? Yeah. All right. But why does it doesn't blow up on me? Yeah, it doesn't blow up. Yeah, we don't want that, right? 
That was really cool. You could like feel the vibration yeah. and like that was like front row like seats. Pressure, yeah. That was really cool. It's, a, it's like you're shaking. Yeah, all the way out here. We were about 10 miles away from the launch pad. That was perfect timing. And we got to meet up with Lyle and Cheryl for the launch. They also just sailed back from Grenada. Our little cat babies, here's Trace. Come say hi, Trace. They're on the same journey, have the same hopes, dream about the same things, and are creating the same memories that we are. Never mind that awful voiceover. It was so cool to catch the launch with them and then continue up the ICW together. We're tucked away to Marina. Time to get some stuff done. First up, laundry. And I just gotta keep it cool. All right, I'm gonna make my way up to the clubhouse to do my last two loads of laundry, one of which is my bedding. All, the reason I had so much is because the bedding got super salty on our passage with all the windows open, so yeah. Whenever we're at a marina, I try to use large washer and dryers to knock out big loads or to wash large items. We were down in the stern, the, the port side stern, and we have two batteries here for the thruster that's back here. And all the wiring and everything for this thing is back in there. So I have to crawl back up in there, which is pretty tight. This is our stern thruster stuff, battery charger for the batteries. Uh, you saw, here's where the fuse goes. On off switch, you got thruster box. Let's just take this thing apart. Our stern thruster blew a fuse just before we left Grenada. It wasn't a priority and we had a lot going on, so it got pushed. It was great to finally get to repairing it though. While he's doing that, I'm going to try on a new bikini that I received in the mail. It actually feels like I'm wearing nothing. I love the color. I think it's pretty good. It's like a mix between a scoop and a thong. This bikini is from Bikini Addiction. I love it. I love the bright color and how sexy it makes me feel, which is the most important part if you ask me. Try to replace the fuse, turn it back on. Now she'll try to do the thruster. Um, you're gonna push them both on and then just try the back one. All right, so I'm gonna flip them both on. It's on, the yellow button's on, and we're just gonna try the stern thruster. Yeah, do the other way. Do it a couple times. Cool, I'm glad that's over. That was weighing on me for a while. Cool, well done. This is great news. Um, in Grenada, when we were docking, somebody had thrown a blue glove in the water and our bow thruster sucked it up. So um, that was really a, like a relatively easy fix. So that's nice. It's nice having a working bow thruster for sure. Let's check out Jeremiah. You fit down there. Yeah, kind of. I was worried for a second. Yeah, me too. It's like, is he gonna get out of there? Yeah, that's cool. That's one more thing I'll post. Awesome. And you had help, honey. Good job, honey. It wasn't all on you. Fantastic. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. It looks hard. Moments like this that you'll remember. 
probably set itself Ooh. with the... Oh, there's another one coming. During a storm, you should put stuff in your microwave. How's your pill assortment? Just slap a sticker on? Go for slap it. Slapping a sticker on. Oh. Not that it's fixed, but we have tried. I have an hour left on my watch. I thought I saw you coming, so I flipped it on. Here's your coffee. Thank you, baby. You ready for this? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're passing Billy Joel's estate. Get that first. If it lets loose, it's gonna probably plummet into our boat. They were under the bow already. I mean, we're trying, so I was like, I'm just going back to my coffee. I'm trying to turn north and probably put out the, the head sail. Do I eat it with the gummy? Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.